Today, I'm going to show you all my favorite apps to increase your productivity in 2026. Starting off with the Opal app. This is an app that will reduce your screen time. <laughs> yes, before you become productive, you need to conquer your time. And what better way to do that than to gamify reducing your screen time on your iPhone. This is an app that will allow you to actually conquer all of those doom scroll sessions by gamifying it. Yes, you can earn these gems that are like a conquest title, a trophy for you to do anything. For example, you install the app, you get your first trophy. You set up for sleep, then you get your second trophy. Then you focus for 10 hours, you get your third gem. And then you focus during work, fourth, fourth gem. And then you focus with Opal for three days. You had your fifth gem. And then you have more gems, just like this. And these are like trophies. Here you have all of your screen time available. As you can see currently, today I only have 26 minutes. And it's almost midday. Focus score, 96%. But time offline, 11 hours, 6 minutes on AliExpress, 2 minutes on Instagram. These are distracting apps, and then the other ones are productive. And it considers what is productive and what is not. And it will help you out decide where you can cut, where you cannot cut from your screen time. And what better than this is actually all the focus modes that you can create. Laser focus, rise and shine, sleep and relax, wind down, go to sleep. This will help you out actually have a better night. You can also create work times and schedules. Currently, I'm on my working time recording, and so I've blocked most of the apps. You have to wait for six seconds to make this beautiful introduction for you to actually relax. And then click continue, and this is my work focus. And you can see where are my blocks. If I click edit, app blocked, and you can see I have YouTube, WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok are all blocked, and also X. And so yeah. This is my block for work, so this means whenever I go into my app list, here, all my apps are blocked. Instagram, WhatsApp, Twitter. If I open Twitter, Opal blocked it. And it says, X was blocked during your session, you are saving time too. Yes, that's it. Opal also gives you something very cool, which is the widgets. As you can see here, I have this cool widget, just mute, I have this cool widget that will allow me to actually launch Opal just from the home screen and gives you your update on your focus. So currently from nine to six is my work time. And so I won't be able to use all of those apps. This has actually allowed me to save so much time in screen time. This also gives you an interesting statistic and it's kind of scary. Whenever you install the Opal app, it will give you how many years you will spend on your iPhone for your life. And it's kind of scary. scary. For me, I think it gave me like 18 years, but let me just check. Yeah, 21 years that I'm on track to actually spend looking down at my phone. And this is a very, very scary statistic. So if you want to come back that, just install this app. I also have another alternative, but install the Opal app. You can create day streaks, focus hours, competitions with friends, inner circles. You can create new schedules right here. Call it whatever you want. And of course, if you don't have time to, just add here and you can create a preset. Opal is a very well designed, very pretty app that you can use to help conquer your goals and specifically reduce your screen time. And of course, they have a pro paid plan, but the free plan, it's a very, very good. You don't need more than this. Another alternative is the Forest app. This is interesting because this gamifies the reducing screen time in a different way. You will plant trees, so you choose the timer that you want and the trees will plant. They will be bigger if you choose more time. They will be smaller if you choose less time. And they also have a forest right here where you can check all of the trees that you planted in case it's just like how much screen time have you reduced from your phone. It's the same point, but I do believe it's a bit more simple if you like that. If you like the minimalistic design, this is different. The Opal app, in my opinion, is more complete. This one is more minimalistic. Choose your fighter. And after you conquer your time, it's time to organize it with the Tick Tick app. This is my favorite task planner app on planet Earth. And you have probably heard from it from Marques Brownlee, MKBHD, but it's that good. I have all my tasks available, edit and publish YouTube video, workout, study for e transfer, and record YouTube video. This is all for today. Currently recording YouTube video. So after this, I'll click it done. But when you set, once you click it done, there you go, complete your first task. And then you have study for e transfer, workout, and edit. And of course, this does not appear because this is for today. I have my schedule planned for the next couple of days. So as you can see, completed the record YouTube video, but for Friday, I have also study for heat transfer. I have an exam. Saturday, fitness YouTube video for my fitness YouTube channel, study for heat transfer. This is your schedule. This is like a planner. You can schedule all of your life here. It's very simple, click plus button, create your task. You can put emojis just like I do and create 
a, lim a very simple and organized thing. You also have to suggest that via AI, suggested plans can create upcoming fitness YouTube video. Take do soon, so start to prepare and tell me, okay, now I maybe add this fitness YouTube video to my tasks and prepare in advance. This is very nice. And you have so much different things to actually do with this. For example, Pomodoro technique. After you added Pomodoro technique, you can see here at the bottom that we have the add button here. And now you have your Pomodoro technique to study. Like start, 25 minutes, stops, starts the race time, and then more 25 minutes and counts the amount of Pomodoros that you do. This is awesome, guys. And with this, it also gives you all the statistics for what you have done. The amount of Pomodoros that you've done, total, the amount of hours, minutes, how many do per day, how many hours of focus do you have using the Pomodoro technique. For work, studying, this is a no-brainer. And after you conquer your time and plan it, what can you do to make it even more productive? Well, my favorite app currently is Notebook LM. This is an AI from Google. And I know, AI, AI. But I've been using this for studying lately and it's awesome. This is my favorite AI currently. Why? Because it's very simple to use. You create folders. For example, I have heat transfer right here in Portuguese and an automation uh, subject right here. This is for my uh, industrial engineering course. This is very simple. I click here and I have all my textbooks for my subject. And here I can create, like for example, studio. I can create audio overviews, flashcards, quizzes, infographics, slide decks, and I can study through here very simply. I don't need to actually read a thousand pages of this book. No, I simply ask the NoteLM AI to actually simplify it, to make it easy to read. I can create an audio overview, so it will make a podcast out of it. For example, a simple podcast that I created while I was driving, I wanted to study, right here. Listen to it. Which that energy moves. Sizing a power plant, a car radiator, your laptop's cooling fan, it all hinges on time. So the calculations for that rate, they're all based on an adapted version of the conservation of energy. And as you heard, this is like an engineer explaining to a podcaster what it's like for studying heat transfer. And this is insane. And the voices sound so natural. This is actually very, very scary. Can you also create a quiz or flashcards? A few minutes later, and it's here. The flashcards that I ask for the video. What is the fundamental condition required for heat transfer to occur? What are the three modes of heat transfer? Heat transfer that occurs across stationary medium due to temperature gradient is known as, and here you can see the answer, conduction. So this is very simple because this will allow you to study like flashcards and you can see the answer. This is awesome guys, awesome. This is one of the most powerful tools if you study, if you are a student or even if you work. But then you can create a quiz, infographic, infographic, slide deck, this simple. Then you can ask it simple questions about the book and it will answer it. So this is a very, very powerful AI that you should use if you are studying or working. Of course, you also have ChatGPT. That is insane. ChatGPT is also very powerful if you pay for the premium version. But still, ChatGPT 5.2 is also very, very cool. But again, I think that Notebook LM is more focused for productivity. The best overall AI, ChatGPT, for sure. And just like we've heard so many times, time is money. And how can you manage your money for this 2026 season to make it even more productive? So how can you take control out of your money, just like you took control out of your time? And one of my apps I want to show you is Bobby. This is a very simple app that will allow you to track all of your subscription services right here. I have Apple Music, iCloud, Disney Plus, and Netflix. And just for example, <laughs> these are outdated prices, of course. It will show you the total bill for your month. Currently, it's 35 euros. Currently, I don't have Netflix, neither of these A+. I just have Apple Music and iCloud, and I definitely pay more than 2 euros and, and 99 cents. Currently, I'm paying 29.99 for 6 terabytes of storage. So, if I remove Netflix, which currently I don't pay, thank you, remove it, control your money, not Disney Plus either, delete it, and this iCloud subscription is here too much, I will have a 4 euro bill, 4 euro and 40 euro and 99 cents. So yes, this is my total bill for subscriptions per month, per year, that's 500 euros. <laughs> Again, that's quite a lot, but you can click here and add more subscriptions. It has all the subscriptions available that you can choose, super powerful, and you can create all of your recurring expenses here on subscriptions, apps, services, and you can see how much you are paying per month or per year, and you will be able to take control out of your money. And of course, if you wanna take control out of your money, not just via subscriptions on all the things that you pay monthly, but with a budget planner. 
And for that, I recommend you the Moneyboard app. This will give you all your recurring expenses that you can put right here, just like Bobby. But then you can put how much money you have in your account. Here, you can create your monthly budget. You can add all of your expenses in, out, income, expense, or transfer. And this will create like a budgeting app with graphs where you spend the most amount of money. I used to do this. Currently, I don't do this. These are fictional numbers. I just put them right here for you to see. But I have my account. It syncs all across devices. You have your iPad, you have your iPhone, wherever you want. You also have all of your expenses that you paid for and you earned. And right here, you have redesigned for Mac. You can also have your app for the Mac. This is free, completely free. You don't have to pay for this app and it's super powerful. So after you take control out of your all subscriptions, take control of all of your money budget, guys. These are all of my favorite apps currently to increase your productivity and even your budget and money in 2026. And so let me know in the comments below, which one did you prefer? While you're there, drop back down below, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.